Hi guys, welcome! Today we're going to talk about an interesting motherboard and if you might remember I already did an ASRock B550 Tai Chi Today we're going to talk about ASRock X570 Tai Chi but in a special edition uh, we're going to talk about the Razer edition so we have here Tai Chi model but with uh, Razer Chroma RGB and uh, some other features so check out the intro and after that we're going to talk about loads of details about this motherboard. So one thing is for sure, the motherboard looks amazing. And with the whole black design without the RGB turned on, it really does look amazing. And it even has the back side with additional, I would say this is um, protection from uh, motherboard PCB bending. And they also added the RGB here, so it's really cool. And they even added uh, from Gamers by Gamers, uh, which does look nice. Well, until you place it in a case, which you can't see it anymore, but nevertheless. So this motherboard is really packed with loads of stuff. And we're going to go into details, of course, with the VRMs, with the M.2s, with all the connections on the, the I.O. port and whatnot. So let's begin. First of all, you have Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, Killer 2.5G LAN and up to 11 USB 3 ports. This is outstanding when it comes to connectivity. Now also you have the XXL aluminum heatsink and high efficiency electronics for optimal thermal performance. Uh, powered by Razer Chroma RGB for truly customizable lightning and uh, honestly I tested the Razer peripherals on some other channel but I have to admit their Razer Chroma RGB really looks cool so let's go to other details we have PCI 4.0 you have dual RGB and addressable RGB headers uh, which is definitely appreciated in these times when people are using RGB to the maximum. Now these are of course uh, some uh, key features. When we're talking about USB headers you have two USB 2.0, two USB 3.2 generation 1 headers which support uh, four USB 3.2 generation 1 ports uh, and also supports ESD protection. The front panel Type-C USB 3.2 Generation 2 header which also supports ESD protection. You have one uh, Dr. Debug uh, with LED, power button with LED, reset button with LED and clear SMOS button. At the bottom you have HD audio uh, which it's 7.1 channel HD audio with content protection so Realtek ALC1220 audio codec. You have premium Blu-ray audio support, uh, support surge protection, WIMA audio capacitors for front outputs, gold audio jacks, 15 microns gold audio connectors and Nahimic audio. Now let's jump to the rear I.O. panel which has uh, two antenna ports, uh, one PS2 for mouse and keyboard port which is still absurd a bit to have it. Then we have one HDMI port one optical SPDIF out port, one USB 3.2 generation 2 type A, one USB 3.2 generation 2 type C, four USB 3.2 generation 1, two USB 2.0 ports, uh, one RJ45 LAN port with LED, one clear SMOS button, one BIOS flashback button, and HD audio jacks for rear speaker, central bass line in, front speaker, and microphone which as I stated are all gold plated. Now it's time to check out the box content. Uh, we have of course uh, in this is a software setup guide, instruction manual, DVD with drivers, you have two velcro tight for cable management, you have four SATA cables, 
Wi-Fi antenna, two M.2 standoffs and two M.2 uh, screws, and we have the Torx screwdriver for the XXL heatsink to remove it and to place your M.2. So basically that's it. Let's place it in the build and talk more about some actual numbers. Before we talk about uh, the razor part of uh, this uh, incredible SROC uh, X570 uh, Tai Chi model, let's talk about some quick benchmarks, even though in this video they aren't that relative and important since the whole point of this video is basically to talk about the Razer edition. So in Cinebench R15 we have the OpenGL 100.94 FPS. The CPU multicore uh, results were 3191 Cinebench points which basically compares uh, the X570 Tai Chi Razer edition to other uh, AMD boards that I had for testing and comparing this one to the other two this one had much better scores with the 3900X and of course in a CPU single core uh, 206 Cinebench points which is also the best score out of the three boards that I tested now in Cinebench R20, CPU multi-core 7292 points, uh, CPU single core 519 points. The cool thing about it is that in AIDA64 CPU ID, the memory was on uh, CL16 3466 MHz those were the HyperX Fury RGB and I literally didn't have any issues when I went to the ASRock uh, BIOS and to adjust the XMP profiles. Now since I'm already talking about the BIOS, uh, entering the BIOS you can clearly see that there are loads of differences when it comes to at least visual aspects of the BIOS. On the main menu uh, you have of course the model name uh, of the UEFI version, you have the processor type, processor speed, uh, microcode update and uh, basically here you can see that the memory on default is 2400 uh, megahertz. Uh, now the next menu is OC Tweaker which uh, you basically can load your XMP profile, overclock your CPU and basically everything else. Here you can see when loading XMP settings you have two profiles, for instance uh, the ones that I used, uh, well basically the ones that I can use for the uh, HyperX uh, Fury RGB, profile 1 3466 and the second profile is 3000. Also you have uh, DRAM profiles that are already preset, so for instance for the G-Skill Trident Z Neo series with 16 and 32 gigs which are already predefined so this is really cool because you have some settings already preset so yeah then you go to the advanced configuration where you have the CPU, PCI, onboard devices, storage and basically everything else uh, that you usually get with uh, ASRock BIOS then under the uh, tool menu you have the RGB LED, Easy Ride Installer, SSD Secure Erase Tool, NVMe Sanitation Tool and Instant Flash. Then on Hardware Monitor you can basically see the RPMs of the fans, the temperatures on the CPU, on the motherboard and all the voltages on the CPU vCore, DRAM, VDDP, VPPM and others. Now talking about Razer Chroma and how it actually goes and implements with the ASRock X570 Tai Chi motherboard. So for instance you want to synchronize everything uh, with your board, with your game, with your peripherals and everything else. You just have to download Razer Synapse uh, 3 which allows you to customize the lights on your motherboard and other addressable uh, RGB devices that are connected to your motherboard headers. Basically you, you just uh, connect your adjustable RGB LED strips to your devices uh, on any three pins. So we have one at the top and you have one at the bottom. So basically two addressable RGB headers here and uh, download the Razer of course the Razer Synapse 3 application. Now what you can do is uh, you have uh, lightning effects which 
basically gives you the endless possibilities. Then you go to the Chroma Studio, so if you're looking for an RGB lighting effects that are really different than others, uh, you can tweak them up uh, with uh, Chroma Studio where you can modify uh, existing effects or even design your own effects. Next in line is Chroma Connect. Basically this gives you an option to synchronize all your Chroma enabled devices with Chroma integrated games. Uh, for instance, they named here Apex Legends, uh, Overwatch, Fortnite. And finally we come to the Chroma Visualizer which gives you the dynamic level of audio visualization with colorful sound waves that jump up and down on your devices. It basically imitates the sound through the colors so yeah it kind of does make it interesting. So my whole opinion of this motherboard Let's put aside that the X570 Tai Chi model as well as the B550 Tai Chi model are really premium products, premium motherboards from SROC and there literally isn't any flaws on them. Uh, the design is immaculate, performance is really brilliant and I can't say anything against it. The whole idea behind everything is to synchronize if you're already a Razer fan or you prefer Razer peripherals, you can just get the finish touch and add a motherboard and synchronize everything if you're into that RGB craziness that is uh, all around us uh, currently. So yeah guys, this was the ASRock X570 Tai Chi Razer Edition uh, video which you got a glimpse of the motherboard you got a glimpse of what can you do with the Razer Synapse 3 application software on the motherboard with everything connected to the 5 volts uh, ARGB header and I'm placing the links below for the model so you can check out the prices and everything of course remember this is a premium product and it's an X570 motherboard so yeah uh, thank you for watching today's video don't forget to leave a comment like if you like the video and of course subscribe for future content because it's a new year there are new products on the horizon and well definitely this year is going to be more interesting thank you for watching and I'll see you in another one bye bye